Hey guys, I hope you've been doing well and I hope that you're keeping safe. In this video, we are going to look at the redundant literal rule. There are actually two of these rules and it's a pretty interesting concept in the subjects of uh, digital electronics, circuit theory, etc. Okay, so let us take a look at the first rule. The first rule or law, what it says is, if I were to perform an OR of a variable, with the AND of the complement of that variable, let me write it down. If I were to do an OR of a variable, let me say A, with the AND of the complement of this variable. So, I have an AND gate here. And I am doing a complement with another variable, let me say B. If I were to do the OR, if I were to do this OR of a variable with the AND of the complement of this variable with another variable, the output is just going to be the OR of the two variables. So, let me say this output here is uh, A complement B and the output here is A plus A complement B. So, when we do this, when we do all of this, the actual output is A plus A complement B. So, the law states that instead of doing all of this, this is just equivalent of doing this. So, instead of doing the OR of the uh, and of the complement of that variable with another variable, you can just do the OR of the two variables. So, let's just check how it uh, turns out. Let's do a quick truth tables. Okay. Let's take A, B values. Uh, we also need A complement, B value and final output is A plus A complement B. So, this is our final output. These are our reference values and here we, this is easy, A, B, A plus B. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. A plus B is 0, A or 1, 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 1 is 1. So, this is a simple OR gate truth table, this one. And all this elaborate measure that we have done here, right? Let's again do this. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Uh, you can also add another row. I'll just uh, say there is A complement, right? I'll just add A complement here just for purpose. 1, 1, 0, 0. If we were to do AND, A complement and B, right? Uh, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 0, right? Now, if we were to do A plus this, right? This and this, if we were to do an OR gate of these two, this is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1, right? We are doing this column and this column. We are doing an OR gate of these two columns. So, the final output is 0, 1, 1, 1. So, as you can see, this output is the exact same as a simple OR gate. So, this is the first law of redundant literal rule, RLR. Okay. It says that the ORing, this is the ORing, right? The ORing of a variable with the AND, with the and of the complement of this variable with another variable, any other variable is the same as ORing that variable with whatever that x variable is in question. So, this is the first law and the second law, uh, let's take a look at the second law. It is very much similar to this one. Instead of OR, we are going to do AND. It's the exact, uh, it's pretty much the reverse. Okay. What this says is, the ANDing, this is the law 2, it says that 
the ending of a variable let me say uh, let me take this this is my variable a the ending of a variable with the or of the complement of this variable okay so i have a complement with any other variable all right is the same as ending of the two variables this is same as if i were to and these two variables simply here i would get ab right and here i'm i am ending the variable with the or of the complement of this variable with the second variable b so let's do this one. this is or right so this is a complement plus b and this output is going to be a and a complement plus b let's do a quick truth table check we have a b we have a complement we have a complement plus b and we have a and a complement plus b which is the or gate so let's do this 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 a complement would be 1 1 0 0 this is the or gate between a complement and b so 0 1 will be 1 1 1 will be 1 0 0 is 0 and 1 0 is 1 now between a and this we are doing an and gate which means it is going to be positive which is going it's going to have a signal only when there are both the signals right so i mean which means only when both are one it's going to be one right so this is and so one zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one and one is one right and now if we were to do a simple and gate between these guys zero 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 one one zero one one is going to be zero 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 when both are one it's one so as you can see this is the same as this one right here right so it simply states that the anding this is the anding of this variable let me pick a different color the anding of this variable with the or of the complement of this variable with another variable is the same as anding of that variable with the other variable all right so this is the second law and uh, as you can see the first law and second law are very similar in the first law we are oring the variable with the and of the complement and in the second law we are anding the variable with the or of the complement of that variable so i hope uh, this helped you gain an understanding of the redundant literal rule Thank you so very much for watching. Have a lovely day ahead. Peace. And if you have an exam tomorrow, all the very, very best.